Hello, and welcome to Jamhammer. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the most recent delivery of Warhammer 40k Imperium from Hatchet Partworks. In this box, we have the next four issues in this magazine series, which provides minis, terrain, and paints. Oh, and a binder. Huh. Pretty sure that this was supposed to be coming with the third delivery, at least according to the promotional material that's been included previously. Diving into this box, and yeah, it looks like something's gone wrong here. If you watched the previous video in this series, we should have issues 5 and 6 here, with a Primaris Captain that you can only get through this collection, as well as a unit of Primaris Aggressors, but it looks like we instead have issues 7 through 10. Hmm... So, I stopped recording and called up Hatchet. The very friendly chap on the phone explained that there's been unprecedented demand for the Imperium series, well above what they had for their previous series, Mortal Realms and Conquest, and they've actually run out of issue 5. Instead, they sent my third delivery with the binder, and they said that they should be dispatching these missing issues as soon as they become available again. Hopefully, this will be soon, as at the moment we're missing these minis, as well as the first free gift, the modelling set, which was also out of stock and should be coming back in December. Bit annoying, but we'll go through and we'll see what we've got here. Opening up issue 7 first, and we've got a nice shiny Gilliman on the front, but no minis in this one, only paints by the looks of things. Inside the magazine, and as you'd expect with what's included, it's mostly dedicated to painting. Ah, oh, look! It's the captain we don't have. Ah, oh, and the aggressors too, just a really rub salt into the wound. Not much more in the way of rules either, with an issue that doesn't feature any models, but plenty more Necrons to come in this box by the looks of things though, since we should have had quite a few Primaris with the last issues. The included paints then are a Mechanicus Standard Grey, Corax White, and Retributor Gold, so nice additions to the collection if you need them, but not the best bargain we've seen from these magazines, and it's not really something that I need personally. Issue 8 looks a bit more like it, with a few extra dice, and the Necron Overlord Sprue to provide a HQ choice for this army, and possibly fill the role of Warlord. Inside this magazine, we've got some more instructions for using the paints from the last issue here on the minis that we already have, so applying a little gold and white base coat, and it looks as though some of these minis have had the Abaddon black paint applied that came with issue 6. Hmm, looks like the extra bits of play mostly feature the aggressors from issue 6 too, as well as introducing some simplified rules for the included overlord. On closer inspection, these are indeed dice. And the Overlord is the nice sculpt with the Grim Reaper-esque war scythe, the resurrection orb, and a wrist-mounted tachyon arrow for a cheeky snipe at a Primaris vehicle. This kit currently retails on the Games Workshop site for £17.50, so for the cover price of £8.99, we've got ourselves a good deal with this one at least. Issue 9 has a really chunky sprue here, as well as a stack of bases, which look to be Necron Warriors, as well as Canoptic Scarabs. Oh, and an insert too, showcasing the marines that we'll be building up over the series, and some lore and artwork too. In the magazine, we've got a bit more info on the Ultramarines, and a feature on Psychers. Lots of instructions inside here too, to provide guidance on how to assemble all the various push fit minis included with this issue. And that's about it for this one. No more painting instructions, but the last two have been quite heavy with those features, so that makes sense. Looking at the sprue, and it does look like one half of the Necron Warriors sprue, which are a welcome and pretty essential addition to the army that we're building here, with parts to make two of the Scarab Swarms, four warriors, as well as a few optional extras to customise with different head sculpts, as well as a choice between Gore's Flayers or Gore's Reapers. Last issue now, number 10, and it looks like we've got the other half of that warrior box with the bases and, unsurprisingly, a big picture of these minis painted up on the front.
Inside, we've got a bit more lore on Imperium weaponry, and a section on how to paint up the warriors and scarabs that we can give him with these magazines, and another addition to the ongoing skirmish. This is looking a little bit more imbalanced at the minute without those Primaris heavy hitters. On the back though, we've got a sneak preview of what's to, hopefully, come with the next issue, and that's a Librarian in Phobos armour, and another issue with just paints by the looks of things. Yet yeah, this sprue is indeed the other half of that warrior set, so checking on the website again, these should be £29 in total if you were to buy the box. The combined cost of these issues is £17.98, so a pretty good saving of over £10 for a really useful core unit for Necron players, as well as some fast units to grab objectives. And just a quick look at the included binder, which is a useful gift to store our growing stack of magazines, and it makes it easier to organise them and refer back to separate sections and the armies that we'll be building. It's well printed, robust, and very on theme for this series. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider liking it, subscribing to the channel, and clicking the bell to be notified of new videos being released. Let me know in the comments below if you're having any issues with the Hatchet Partworks series too, as I've heard that folks who subscribe to Mortal Realms and Conquest did experience similar problems with not receiving popular issues like these, as well as other missing deliveries, and sometimes even being overcharged. We'll have more videos coming out about this Warhammer 40k Partworks series as soon as the next delivery arrives, which should contain issues 5 and 6, or perhaps the next 4 issues with the Primaris Librarian and Paints. Your guess is as good as mine. So keep an eye out for more Imperium content coming soon to the Jamhammer channel. Thanks again for watching.